Hey you guys, what's going on today? I thought I would talk about the new RX 500 graphics cards that are coming out in the near future from AMD. According to this image found on videocards.com, the RX 500 series cards are set to be released on April 30th. However, both PowerColor and Sapphire have confirmed that the RX 580 will be launched on April 18th. So I'm just going to assume based on that that the entire line will be available by the 30th and that the individual release dates will vary. Now before I get into each card, I have to make this very clear that this is not Vega. This is simply a refresh of the Polaris line, so if you already have something like an RX 480, it would not be a worth upgrade to a RX 580. And the timing of this is extremely weird, but this could potentially be very good for the consumers out there who are looking to play games at 1080p for a very low price. The Polaris line is already extremely affordable and performs very well in 1080p, but now with the upcoming release of the new 500 series cards, we could see a potential price drop for the current line of 400 series cards. As I said, the Polaris line is already very affordable, so to possibly get it even cheaper would just be absolutely incredible. But let's look at what you get with the 580 versus the 480. Looking at this chart, everything is exactly the same except the base clock and the boost clock. Instead of 1120 megahertz base on the 480, we see 1257 base on the 580. Instead of a 1266 boost on the 480, we see a 1340 boost on the 580. So really all you're getting with the RX 580 is a overclock version of the 480. I mean, there's really not a whole lot to it. You could probably just do this overclocking yourself. And the same trend falls with the 570, which it makes me ask the question, why are you doing this when you could already overclock it and get that exact numbers? It's really weird. I don't understand. The RX 560, however, does see a slight performance boost over the RX 460 with the addition of 128 stream processors and 8 more texture mapping units. So while it's still not a huge performance boost, it's a it's enough, I guess. It's enough of a boost that I think people who are interested in playing the lower end titles like the esports titles will enjoy. Again though, not really a major improvement over the previous card. One card that did catch my eye and it really piqued my interest was the addition of the RX 550 to the Polaris lineup. With very little is known about this card right now and all we know that it has 512 stream processors, 32 texture mapping units, 2 gigabytes of VRAM, and a boost clock of 1183 MHz. As far as base clocks, memory clocks, we have no idea what this card has. And this one really is just interesting to me because on paper this card actually looks pretty damn bad. It's clearly worse than the RX 460 so I don't know who this is supposed to be marketed to or what it's going to cost. But it's definitely interesting. I mean not really in a good way though. I don't really see a market for this card because the 460 is already incredibly cheap. And to get a card that's probably going to be... I would guess $70. I would just shell out the extra 20 bucks to get a 460. So I really don't know what this is for, but we'll just have to wait and see what AMD says about this card on release because like I said, on paper this thing just looks terrible. Overall, I really don't know what AMD is doing by releasing these cards. As a consumer, I'm pretty happy because the 400 series cards will likely go down in price. But from a business perspective, it really doesn't make sense to refresh a line of products that aren't even a year old and that are selling very well. I'll leave a link in the description to the article where you can read all the information for yourself, but... Oh, what do you guys think? Do you think the RX 500 series is a good thing, or do you think it's a bad thing? Let me know in the comments below, and if you guys enjoyed this video, leave it a like and subscribe to the channel. I am Motionless Gaming, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.